Mate, amazing. Absolutely. Uh, I suppose I've got to contain my um, emotion here a bit, but um, yeah, like we played, uh, we we went into the rooms like we normally do and sing the song. I'd never get in the circle. I just go on the perimeter and sing the song. And and then, uh, you know, JD said, oh, we've got to get out. And I said, oh, well, the girls are already out. We normally line up for the girls and put them on and that type of thing. And and then uh, he said, no, we, we've got to get out. And I'm going, Jesus, is it COVID? What's going on? I had absolutely no idea what was going on. I must admit from there on in, it was a bit of a blur. Um, we sort of walked out onto the ground to the left over in front of the grandstand and there were people milling around and I still didn't think any more of it. And then I, I don't know why, but I just happened to look up up at the sponsors room and there was a white sheet hanging outside the windows and uh, a bit of wind gusted up. And there I saw it, Ian Muir room, and I just looked down at the ground. I thought, what is going on here? And there were a few more expellees that I can't say on this forum. So, but uh, yeah, so... Um, unbeknownst to me, this has been in the, in the wings for sort of four or five months. We were refurbing the, the sponsor's room for what I thought, and we had to do it anyway um, for, for our great sponsor's day we had that day. But the main driver behind it was actually getting it ready for that day for myself. And, um, yeah, it was – that whole week was a strange week, mate. I was um, I was a bit numb, um, very overwhelmed. Uh, it's a bit hard to describe it, actually. Um, we had our red, white and black ball that night. And I had a great night as I always do around Aisley people, but I was just uh, walking around in a bit of a daze and, and even that week it was really in the, in the messages. I think I had over over 350 um, Facebook texts, phone call messages that I got, which again, completely blew my socks off, mate. So to go down is probably the one of the highlights of, or probably one, of, you know, along with those grand finals and becoming president and all those types of things. But having, having that named after you now, having to, you know, taking family and friends up there to have a drink or to have a lunch is, is going to be really, really special. It's something I'm going to really celebrate over the coming coming years, whether it be in or out of season. I've already started making a few lists of friends because I'll probably fit about 20 up there for lunch or a dinner. So I really want to celebrate it because it is something pretty special. And my jumper's hung up in there and with a few photos and things. So, mate, yeah, it was a really, really special day and something that, uh, as I said, very hard to describe the feeling that I've, I've never had that before in my life. Yeah, it was. Like the premierships are ex- exhilaration and uh, celebration um, and obviously good times. You know, we, we had quite a few hefty uh, evenings and days celebrating with a few cordials. Um, but this one was was uh, proud, um, overwhelmed. Um, yeah, it was just a different type of feeling. Um, sort of um, shivers. You know, hair standing on end. Not that I had much, got much hair, but the hair on the back of your neck and uh, on standing, doing it now, standing on my arms. Um, yeah, it's 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 as I said, it's it's a feeling, it's an emotion that I've never felt before, and again, hard one to put your put your finger on. But overwhelmed, uh, terribly proud. Um, yeah, it's just it completely, completely blew my socks off. Look, I probably have put a fair bit of time. We've probably spoken about it today. You know the 50-year involvement as of next year, um, but you never really, you never really think that you're doing it for to an, to a means to an end to get something named after. It was just you know far away from my wildest dreams. But yeah, I suppose when you do reflect, and I suppose the amount of time and stuff that I put into the joint, it, I suppose it is a bit worthy. But it's hard to hard to sort of talk about it. Um, but that's why I want to get people up there and and celebrate along with it because they 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 helped me along the journey, whether it be family. You know, footy mates, work mates, golf mates, you know, they've all been special to me. I've confided in, in quite a few over the journey because, uh, you know, I don't have all the answers. So you, you seek other answers from other people that are in your life and that sort of helps you make some decisions along the way, which hopefully will be the, the right ones, um, you know, for the footy club. And, you know, the goal is always to, to leave it in a better place than when you joined it. So I joined it nearly 50 years ago and I think we're uh, we're in a, in a bit of a better place than we're than when I first started in 72, so, um, and I hope it keeps growing like that.